Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show everybody what a Stinger transition is inside of OBS, and where you can pick up a few freebies you can use if you're doing streaming or recording videos. So a Stinger transition is basically where you have a video file play in between two different scenes as you switch from one scene to the other scene. So you can see here in scene transitions for OBS, I have the Stinger transition set up here already. So I'll demonstrate it by clicking on the game scene. So you'll see this video file play. And once the video is done, it reveals the scene. So what's great about this transition is that because you're using a video file to make the transition, it is extremely customizable. So in order to use the Stinger transition inside of OBS, you need to go down here to the scene transitions area, click on the drop down, and by default, it should be at the top. So you may see cut there, but you need to come down here to Stinger. So once you select it, you need to go click on the gears icon here and go into properties for the transition. So you can see here that there is a space for a video file. So it won't work properly if you don't have a video to play. So here you can see I have a bunch inside of a folder on my computer. So you will just select the video transition file that you want to use. So if I want to switch to an orange color here, I can just go ahead and do that. And we can test it by clicking on the other scene that I want to switch to. Of course, you can also set up hotkeys so that that's easier to do without having to rely on manually clicking inside of OBS when you're actually recording a video. So that's pretty much what you need to know inside of OBS. Let's show where you can get some. So I came across this Stinger Transition pack today. It's by Visuals by Impulse. Uh, com. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can go here. So you can see some of the previews down here for the transitions. So at this point, all you really need to do is to download this pack or a similar one you could probably find on a Google search and then load it up into the Stinger properties inside of OBS. And then you can have that be your transition as you're recording or streaming videos. So I hope this helped everybody to understand what a Stinger transition is, where you can get some and how you can use them. I have been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.